Hi guys and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike and today I wanted to go over the object on path effect in Shortcuts A Lot 5. A couple episodes ago I did show you how to do the text on path and today I wanted to show you how to do the object on path. It's quite fun and quite easy. One of the things that comes to mind is to create some really neat frames but your mind, your imagination can go wild and create all sorts of neat things using this tool. So let me go ahead and show you the example. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously create a path. So I'm going to click on my oval here or my circle. If you click here you can pick which type of shape you want. For this one I am going to go ahead and use the circle and I'm going to make an oval. All right, so now I have my oval, and now I need my shape or my object that I want to um, put on this path. And so I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on my library, and I'm going to go ahead and use this flower, but you can use any object that you'd like or shape. And so you see my shape is here. I can move that. I'm going to change this yellow to something different just so that we can see this a little bit easier on screen. Uh, let's change this to the gray. And we'll change the stroke to a gray too. All right, that's a little bit easier to see. So we can go ahead and hide our library. So the important thing to know is that your path needs to be right below your shape. So if you look over here on the layers panel on the right hand side, you will see that I have my shape or my object on top and my path right below that on the bottom. So I need to select both of these and there's many ways that you can do it. Holding the shift key, you can actually click on both layers and you'll see when they're blue, they are both highlighted you can also go to edit and you can go to select all. Those are a couple different ways that you could do that. So now that I have them selected, I can go up to effects and I can do object on path. And the first thing that I like to do is click on auto preview and you'll see when I click on auto preview, this will actually move onto that path like so. So let's go over the panel over here. So the offset, if I increase that, you're going to see that this object moves to the right. And if I decrease it, you will see that it moves to the left and down below. So that is what our start offset is. It's where this object is going to start. Let's put that back to zero. The repeat, so right now it's defaulted to count. If I increase that, count is how many of these objects I'm going to have. So I have my original one plus three. Now it's plus four. Now it's plus five. I could also go back down to zero. If I change this to fill path length, it automatically fills it with as many as needed to complete that path, which is pretty cool. It saves you a lot of time. If I go down to spacing, you'll see that it increases the spacing in between those objects when I increase it. And when I go lower, you'll see that the uh, space in between decreases. If I go to alignment, right now it's defaulted to middle, which means that this object is, on, is in the middle. So half of the object is on the path and half of the object is off of the path. If I go to top, you'll see that it moves in. So now the top of that object is touching. If I go to bottom, it'll go to the outside and you will see the bottom now is touching. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to middle and off to the right here is the offset. And so you can as well make that offset. The higher you go, it'll push it further out depending on what the alignment type that you have selected. And if I decrease it, it will bring it in. All right. So now we have crop. So right now I have no crop. If I select outside, anything on the outside of that path will be cropped off. 
If I do inside, obviously it'll be the opposite. Anything on the inside will be cropped out. All right. So let's put that back to none. So in this example, reverse path order, you're not going to see much, but it did actually reverse the order of these flowers here. Uh, warp to path. You'll see a little bit that it did warp this a little bit, so it kind of changes the shape of it ever so slightly, and it will be different depending on what type of object you are using. And stretch to path. This didn't have effect on this particular shape, but I did want to show you one other um, example. So if I clicked OK here, and I have this remove path is unchecked, if I click that, you'll see what I have left is the path as well as my shapes. Now I have another example I wanted to show you here. And so if we go back to effects and object on path, and we go ahead and fill that. If I clicked on remove path and clicked OK, you'll see that that path was removed and all I have left is those original shapes now in that have been put onto that path. So I hope that helps. I just wanted to show you this effect object on path because I think it's pretty neat and I will see you guys soon. All right, bye-bye.